Welcome back everybody to House Flipper. This is episode 403 and we are heading on down back to the heavyweight job. I did a little bit of research. Um, the bathtub not fitting is a known bug, but I did see that someone much smarter than me had actually figured out um, how to fix it. So, uh, we're going to try the solution that they found. They, they have named it as a bug though, because the bathtub won't fit unless you do this particular thing. Uh, so let's um, let's go and see how this goes. Alrighty, that's the game just reminding me that I could finish this job any time I felt like it. And they're absolutely right, but I think my client might be a bit upset with me if I did that. Let us toddle in here. Now, the bathtub won't fit. That seriously shouldn't cause a problem, but it may. Alright, so what this other person did... Uh, Dahlia, I think, or Dahlia, anyway, a very nice flower name. All right, we are going to have to move the shower thing. The thing I'm afraid of doing, though, okay, we're going to put the sink plumbing system in first. I know, this is where I could just completely lose my budget, but anyway, grab the sink plumbing system. We're going to pop that thing over there. We're going to unscrew it, and we're going to just pop it in. All righty. We are going to grab ourselves a sink. Uh, I think we're going to go with the burn beach, maybe. Or the black. No, the burn beach, the black legs. We're going to go with the white on the sink, though. Maybe black on the metal, though. Yes. Maybe the black now. All right, let's see how this goes. We're going to pop this flush to the wall. And assemble it. Actually, you know, it strikes me that if I didn't assemble it before I um, before I did everything, I could probably still move it around afterwards. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get that shower and we're going to move that along. I think we probably only have to move it along maybe two stripes. But oh, let's find out. We're going to put the red tar shower set in. We're going to make it black metal to go with everything else. And we're going to move that over maybe to here. Right, I'm not going to assemble it. I'm going to see if I can put the bathtub in now. Well, let's go. We were doing a black pillow and a blood red bath. And I was doing the metal was going to be black as well. All right. Yes. All right. That's the thing. All right. Wow. Thank you. To... Let me just check. See if I've still got that that help up. All right, thank you to Daisy X320 who actually came up with the bathtub won't install in the downstairs bathroom. Had to install the shower first to move the shower plumbing and then install the bath, and that was on de in December. So, all right, I really appreciate that. So it's not a bug; it's just um. It's just you've got to get quirky and, and poke a few things until they move to where you need them to be. All right. There we go. I probably should have done a brown bathtub instead of the red. The red does not fit. I am not doing it again. <laughs> All right. We need an Atticate mountable shower mountable glass shower wall and a red tar shower set by one. Oh, I need to put that in now. You know what? We could move it. Couldn't we? No, I can't move it. Alright, well I'm stuck with it there. That's fine. I thought I could possibly move it if I hadn't installed it, but that did not work. Um, I am going to grab this mountable shower wall and I'm going to leave it with the black metal. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad I put it in that way then. I would have been in trouble otherwise. All right, so we have our wet area over this way. Toilet plumbing system. See, this is why I wanted to move it back. <laughs> I know. Hopeless. 
Oh no. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to live with it, aren't I? Because I don't think I have the budget to shuffle it around. Um, what sort of toilet plumbing system? Just a normal toilet plumbing system. We're just gonna pretend that that works if I put the toilet right here. So I think that's probably the best solution I've got to my current plumbing situation. Compact WC. These things are so not complex. Compact. Just a plain one. Look how large that is. It's just ginormous. You could be in a hurry and you would never miss it. There was a rat. In the toilet. I'm pretty sure I saw it peeking. <laughs> All right, and are we wooden shelf? Yeah, so my wet area is going to just make everything wet. Oh, I hate you so much. Um, okay. It'll be fine. We are going to have an are we wooden shelf. There are three of them. All right, I'm going to pop this over here. I know I'm making an absolute botch up of this one. We don't want that in there. Do do do. We are going to have an oblique thingy, what's it? Just because everything else is so bright and shiny. We are going to have a toilet holder paper, toilet paper holder crane. Stick that over there. Give ourselves some knee room. An Avery wall lamp. Uh, I'm going to put that above what I suppose will be the mirror, if I can fit the mirror in. Uh, halogen lamp mini. By three. So we have three light areas in this room. We have this one here. This one here. And I'm pretty sure I have one above the toilet. Yes, we'll put one above the toilet about there. We need a Tiamat. Every time I see it, I think about dragons. I think that's just because I... I I played D&D &D when I was younger and Tiamat was a fierce, fierce dragon that you did not want to meet, want to meet whether or not she was in a dark alley. A Viridi light coloured soap dispenser. We shall, we shall detail it in gold and give it a grey base and pop it up here. A Rizo trash bin which I am going to put under the sink if I can manage it. Blick. Under the sink. Boom. An elegant light switch. We know what colours those are going to be. Boom and boom. We're going to put it over here. Turning on our lights. See if we got our light areas. We, we sussed those out pretty good. Fez Men's Shampoo. Ah, I think we might put that somewhere in the bathroom where it's going to be used. Fez Men's Shower Gel. We'll put that up on the edge of the bathtub here. Legna Mirror. Now this is where life gets exciting. And I don't want life to be exciting. Uh, we'll try for medium, but I think we're going to be stuck. Oh no, no, we can fit a medium in. Radio. I know, it's not much elbow room in that sink area. Curio Rolianus Hanging. Someone loves their plants. By three. Oh, someone really loves their plants, right? There we are, surrounded by plant life and happy. Whew, this job is now done. Well, okay, this part of the job is now done. The gym downstairs is done. This is the kitchenette. We should we should maybe finish with the tiling up here. I think I went a bit nuts last episode. And I, um. Do, do, do. Uh, where are we? <sighs> went nuts last episode and we were, we were putting in our brick. Be a good brick. There you go. A package of tiles would be useful. No kidding. Let's get it done. Of course, now I feel like finishing each room one at a time. 
um, and I'm finding it very hard to discipline myself to actually do that now. Alrighty, I know, I, I was really knackered earlier, but uh, now, now we're good. So I was curious as to whether or not we had to brick over that, um, yeah. I think we may have to brick over this. So I know I can't I know I can't wash it, can I? It's not counted as a thing, no. So it's definitely I think they want us to commit sacrilege here and cover up the artwork. Yep, there we go. So this is where your other percentage is. I just thought he liked the colours or something. But no, he doesn't like the colours. He just knew he was going to clad it. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, maybe one more. We'll see. I think I'm standing just above those mirrors we put in the gym. The ones with the lights on. And, when, and, and they kind of click when you're in range. There we go. Alright, at least we know we've done that. Let's just uh, pop that down. I know. Don't sell the tiles too late. Um, I want to have a look. Let me just open this because this, this window is really annoying me. Alright, no I can't wash it from this side either. I don't think you can wash it. I think it just looks dirty. And, and that's the best you're going to be able to do with it. It's really annoying. Radio. Oh wait, walls? We're going to do walls in here. I hate you. It's Stella Brick again. <laughs> I know. What? What haven't I learned? Don't talk to me. We're getting there. We'll just zip it up. A package of tiles sure would be useful. You are absolutely 129% correct. No, I'm not giving you the full 130%. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, because, because I don't feel like it. There you go. I know, I've, I'm thinking, like, I'm trying to work out how I can do everything I need to do faster and better. Because there's no point going faster if you don't do it right and you've got to go do it again. And I just cannot think of a way to do it. So failing that, I have to prioritise everything. And that's also a tall order. Because apparently I'm too old now to, to pull the silly 20 hour, 30 hour, well, 30 hour days. I have been known to go longer than 24 hours to finish something, to catch up with something, but I just can't do it at the moment. I'm, I'm knackered. We must have been pushing it a little bit long. <laughs> I know, right? Eventually your body just says, that's it, Jimmy. Time for you to grow half a brain. And you're like, what? I know, and the body's like, hey, I mean it. Not joking here. <laughs> You're like, fine, fine, we'll just have to do it your way then. And I have noticed I do better if on, you know, six hours sleep than four hours, and much better on eight hours than six. 
the words come quicker too, which means that you actually, the time you spend sl sleeping is um, time you spend saving what you're doing. Yep, more stellar brick in here. All right, let's just finish off these tile piles. He really does like the industrial look, doesn't he? Nothing wrong with that. At least he's consistent and that's important. Just grab those and drag them out of here. thinking sorry <laughs> I know if you couldn't see the smoke pouring out of my ears that was uh, that was me that, that was me seriously thinking I'm, I'm still wrapping my head around a situation Oh dear. It was sort of a bad situation. I mean, it's just, you know, when, you, when your kid takes one of your books to school and their friends like it. Um, and I don't write erotica or romance. It's actually science fiction adventure. So I'm just... I'm, I'm a little surprised. I shouldn't be, because that was my target audience, but... It's nice. So now I'm trying to work out what I, what I should be doing about it, if anything. So we have 95% of this done. There we are, 97 and 100. Let's just finish it off to make it look pretty. Oh, done! All right, cool. I guess we'll pick those up. We might find another room that requires these bricks. What do you think our chances are? I mean, even if we don't, we've still got to do these doorways. Yep, stellar brick and Aaron concrete. All right, how much? It doesn't matter. I can do it in any proportion I like. Awesome. So I guess I'll just finish the bricks in my hand here. And we might get we might get two packets of them and then we might make the rest of this room concrete because it, it looks like a bathroom and the bricks are going to be a pain in the neck to clean so um that's what we'll do so we'll put them at the end of the bathroom that's hopefully uh oh it wants a shower plumbing system I think that's going to have to go there. Let me just take these out of here and decide what I want where before I do anything foolish. Okay. Toilet plumbing system. Freestanding bathtub plumbing system. Sink plumbing system. What's a freestanding bathtub plumbing system? Maybe they want one right in the middle of the, like, the windows. I don't know. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. That's exactly what they want. Well, that's where that's going. Because he gets to, you know, zone out to the sounds of the sea. Alright. A Swen Jamie bath. Um, concrete. So I might, I might just go with this to contrast the nice clean porcelain look to contrast with the um with the rest this is new I, i'm not familiar with it 
I mean, we could have stuck it right in the middle of the bathroom, but then I think we would have been in trouble when it came to everything else. So the air and concrete, I'm thinking, is going to be easier to clean than the... Um, so we're at least going to put air and concrete here, right? Which of course means we're going to put it on this whole wall. I kind of like it. So we'll just make the inside of the doorway clean as well. Again, he's going for this like this really industrial look. It's just a smoother industrial look than than the rest. And we need it to go around that corner. So I guess we can do that entire wall over there with um, with the concrete. We could ignore the, the requirement to mix it. Completely ignore it. Uh, I just don't like doing that. It's the client wants, but you know what? I know what we'll do. We're going to do the whole walls, everything, in the air and concrete, right? And then we're going to mirror that that um that pillar theme that he's got going downstairs we're gonna do that upstairs as well do 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 oh i know it is driving me completely bananas that's what i'm after so that's what we'll do we'll tile up we'll tile up these walls because it'll be it'll be easier to clean in our wet areas. I think we did the walls in the other room already, so we could just start here with the furnishing and then work our way around in a clockwise kind of direction. Oh, I know, don't yell at me. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make this, we're going to make this a pillar and just make it turn into a pillar in the corner, right? And we're going to make this a pillar. His housekeeper's going to hate him, but anyway. And then what we'll do is we'll have this is a pillar and this is a pillar and this is a pillar and this is a pillar should have a pillar on either side of the door where's my set of oh oh no no there we go we don't need to buy it again got that right and then we want one about halfway down so what's our count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three five six seven so we're gonna need to go about um seventeen the midpoint of 17 is the ninth, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because then you have 8 on either side of it. I know, I could count again or I could just play chicken with it and hope I got it right. I don't think I did actually. <laughs> and you know what? It's right enough. We will be fine. Uh, tiling. E. Here we go again. Alright. Suspended toilet plumbing system. Sink plumbing system. Shower plumbing system. Now this is really the only safe corner to put a shower in. And I don't know if they want a corner shower. So um, this could get expensive. So let us grab our shower plumbing system. Uh, we're going to put it right here and then we're going to buy a shower and hope hope with our little fingers and toes crossed that we um 
that we've got it right. Which we have not, because we needed to put the shower system. Yeah. Can I move? Can I move this? See, and this, this is why I wish I knew which freaking shower I was going to be putting in before I had to put the plumbing in. That's the sink. You don't want that there. You'll be upset and sad and grouchy. Right. I know, right? <laughs> go. Let's go with the shower. And of course, now I've got my um, my shower in exactly the, the like the point where I've got all of the um, the pillaring. So I'm so glad I don't have to clean that. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Next, suspended toilet plumbing system, sink plumbing system, hanging countertop. Um, alrighty, no one likes sitting on a wet seat. We're going to put that over here. Fez suspended toilet, let's just get that in. Alright, sink plumbing system. Now, the problem with putting this in here... Actually, let's not. Let's put it over here. Kind of on the way out the door. Uh, I just want to see. Yeah, let's put it over there. Unscrew that. Because this way it doesn't matter how tight the, the counter is. We've kind of got... Yeah, and that'll give us a little bit of hip weight in the door there, so that when we walk in, we're not hitting our hip straight on the door, on the sink coming in. This way it won't matter which, how much cabinet there is, we'll all be fine. All right, let's grab a Laspis hanging wooden countertop. Remember, we're doing it in the black wood. Let's drop that down beside our sink. I know, I was, I was about to think, if, if there's more than one, I'm in trouble. Uh, stalk room screen. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's pretty. A Brooklyn wall lamp. Uh, okay. A fascia wooden shelf, an elegant light switch, a Jatara ceiling beam by five. Really? Five ceiling beams? Uh, sure. Okay, we have to have one spanning in here. That's just the way it's going to be. So my guess is that there's going to be a half meter length at the end of it, right? All right, we're going to eyeball the distance there. And we're going to eyeball the distance There. All right, now I've I've run a gamble that I've got these half half thing ceiling beams, right? And that they're gonna fit on the end of these. All right, that, that is correct. I just need to position them correctly so they don't look weird. Except for that one, of course. That's always going to look weird. And you do want five of them, you funny bunnies.
All right, you know what we're going to do with that fifth one? Seeing as the game is not going to be flexible about this, we're going to just put it. Kind of like a, an extra decoration thing about there. I don't, I don't think it matters what we do with it. It's going to look weird. Um, Fascia wooden shelf by four. Uh, let's ignore that for the minute. Let's get on with our light switch. Because we're going to need some light in here. Too sweet. I might put it away from the, the wet area. Actually, no, because the door will close on that side. Um, we also want some lights in here. Three mini lights. These, these guys have got a thing about not being well lit, don't they? Alright. One. Two. Three. Turn the lights on. We've managed to line them up okay. Uh, this is an arson hanger with a light towel. We'll make it black. We'll give ourselves an industrial... Well, I like the blue, but I think we're probably... You know, it's too much grey. Let's go with the blue to lighten out, lighten everything out. I might just pop that about there. A fascia wooden shelf. Yeah, I need the mirror. Just to know where the mirror's going. There's got to be a mirror in here. Yep, there it is. Uh, we might just lift that a little bit. And we might just pop that a bit there. All right. A wicker laundry basket. We are going to stick with the normal color wicker for this one. Or maybe. No, we might go with a black wicker basket. Look at that. Just pop you at the end here. Uh huh. All right. So we've got these to put in. Really? That there's paintings in here? Oh dear. All right, a round carpet. Let's have a look at extra large. It might be too big. Oh, but I love it. Look at that. Alrighty. I know we could brighten it up by putting it over there, but too bad. Um, <laughs> we have some towels. We have two blizzard of sorrow. I think medium's going to be big enough for this space. We're going to put this. You can contemplate your blizzard of sorrow while in the tub. There you go. And, you know, if you're sitting facing the other way, thinking you could get away from the artwork, you're completely out of luck. A bit like me trying to hang this painting. Wow, that was close. Okay, <laughs> where are we at? Oh, boy. Okay, so all of this stuff probably needs shelves to go on and now I know where my shelves are kind of going to be. We're going to go black with that. We're going to go black wood like everything else. And I think we're just going to have you know they don't have to be they can be kind of artistically lopsided. There we go. That doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Right here. <laughs> Uh, black metal, blue towel, blue, yeah, we're just brightening it up a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Um, and I might just put this over here so it's in easy grab range when you hop out of the shower. Alrighty. I oh, know, we're slowly getting there. Uh, I like the black ornament. We could go white with the blue, actually. There we go. Alrighty, a full soap dispenser. Ooh. Well, we are going to go with the blue on the toilet brush. We'll just pop that down there in its own little privacy screen. Uh, Tiamat light garbage can. No dragons were harmed during the making of this. Uh, I know I'll stop now. Uh, what else have we got? I don't think that goes there. I think that's meant to go over here. Oh yeah, by the door. So it's easy to, to um, empty. Uh, a full o toothbrush holder. Black, of course. And blue and white, just to lighten things out. We're going to pop this over here. 
Uh, the reason it's not right next to the sink is because we're going to put our soap dispenser there and if you've got icky hands you don't want them anywhere near it until they're clean. Radio, a box for the lid. I don't know why you want a box for the lid in here, but... Whoa. We'll just go with white, thank you. We'll pop it up there. Um, up here. Alright, some more light folded towels. Alright, just in case you're feeling undecided about your towels. There you go. Oh, I see. You wanted... Oh, I see what you wanted. Alright, you know what? Let's just grab you, pop you down there. Alright, this bathroom is done. It doesn't have a door on it. Maybe there's a door meant to be here. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll just grab our door from out here. Should be... That looks like it. An interior, interior door. Oh, bathroom door narrow. We're going to go with um, the burned beach. And the burned... No, no, that's fine. Burned beach. Burned beach. Black handle. And uh, dark details. There we go. Oh, whoops. Looks like I forgot the frame. Where'd it go? There it is. I did forget the frame. <laughs> Let's try that. Now it doesn't look quite so awkward. Brilliant. Now we have a bathroom. In here, uh, we are bound to need a light switch. Let's see if we can find a light switch. Uh, I'm not sure how many it wants. I guess we'll find out. That's a door. Let's pop a light switch here. And we'll pop a light switch over here. Uh, how many light switches do we need? Oh, two more. Excellent. I know, personally I think you need another one. I'm going to give him a free light switch. Lucky man. Okay. Let's be logical. We'll start in the tiny dingy little room. I need a light switch. I know. We're going nuts with light switches now. Need two in here. Excellent. One by the door. Of course. And one by this door. There we go. <sighs> right. Back into here. We need a light. One Loftus wall lamp. Now I don't quite know what's going on in here, but I'm pretty sure that won't be in the way. So we're just going to pop that up there while I work out what else we've got. So, one broken wooden wardrobe of 100 centimetres in the black wood, please. It'll fit nicely right in that space there, but I won't be thanked if I don't turn it around. Look, just like I bought one. Um, modern net low wooden shelf. How low is low? By two. Radio. Oh. Oh, well, okay, hang on. Let me see where we're putting the mirror then. I might put the mirror here because... Um, wow, that is a, a big module, isn't it? Yeah. Because if you put it with the light behind it, you're going to get glare. All right, low wooden shelf, 50 centimeters by two in the black wood, please. All right, we are going to put them here. 
and one round carpet in the large I think and the grey closet is done uh, I am betting that we have some lights in here we can use three of these any others no right oh wait what was that thing next to it chandelier by two that is what I wanted to see because what we want is we want one slightly off center over there and then one about center here because we are going to bang our heads on that every time we <laughs> man Whose brilliant idea was this? Okay, these are definitely not meant for lying in the centre of the room. We'll just put that over in the corner. Uh, and then we're going to put that one over here. Otherwise someone is going to bang their head and they're not going to be happy with us. We'll turn the lights on because it's getting dark. Oh, these are not good. Are they right? Really not good. Um, I'm thinking people want to lie in bed and look out at the ocean. I don't like the pink pillow. He's not really a violet. He might be red, but it's not relaxing. I am thinking it either has to be dark blue or black. I might just go with the black. I'm thinking the pillow can be dark blue. All right, that'll do. Ah, uh, yeah, you know that looked. <laughs> Do I know right? Yeah, cake, 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 cake. It looked a lot duller. Uh, frame can be black. Mattress can be grey. Bedding can be black, pillow, dark grey, and black. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. I'm going to just put this kind of here. So that way you're near your thing. An Astrid bench with dark pillows. We're going to go with the black wood. We're going to go with the primary colour of black. No, grey in that case if it's the top, black if it's the bottom. That is our Astrid bench. Now he wants two of those. Uh, fine. I'm just going to put them, I don't know, maybe here somewhere because I don't know what to do with them yet. Havana small nightstands. Alrighty. Blackwood, more blackwood, more blackwood, dark candles. I need to make sure this fits in this space. Alright, it doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Now, now that we've moved it, I'm actually beginning to think... Um... We might make that like a little sitting nook. And I'm going to move the bed. See, so I can put it here. I'm not sure I can center it because I don't think the Havana tables are going to fit in that space. But we can try. We can but try. Yeah, it needs to go over just a little. So we might as well blatantly center it here. And 
then that gives me an idea for the um for the seats. All right. Actually, I was thinking I could sit one along here. Maybe I'll just put it over here for the minute. You know, for days when the dressing room is busy. Unless there's a wardrobe coming, in which case I'll move them again. A Carmen console table, a Carmen coffee table. Okay, no, this is definitely my... Oh, no, that can be my knock over there. What's a console table look like? Right, that. Blackwood. A Carmen coffee table. A Carmen leather armchair by two. I know, we're not being terribly imaginative here. I don't think he's particularly into imaginative. He just wants it to be comfortable and to look good. And we're just going to pivot that this this way. Just mind your ankles on it, right? That's all I can say. And a Gama bookcase, black red, black legs, all dark. I think we need the bookcase in between these lounge chairs. Alrighty. Uh, we also need oh another another bookcase. Yes, I get to play with that. We'll stick that over here. We, we'll see. I might actually like this room yet. We'll find out. A stalk room screen in the black, of course. How many of these? Just two? Man, and you think that's going to make a difference. Alright, a Gizoni on hanging TV 85 inch. Alright, I did like that space until I had to put a TV in it. <laughs> Let me just move that. Let me grab my television. Because something tells me that they will actually want to have there's only one size. Be able to watch that from the bed. There we go. Alright. What else have we got in here? Not much. Alright, a loftus wall lamp. These are going to be in the black as well. Uh, I'm going to put... Alright, I have that there. I'm going to put this one here. And I might put one over here. We don't want it directly on the bed. That's like... I don't know. I just, I just don't think it would work terribly well. You want your privacy, right? Um, a netto shelf in the black. Oh, of course. Uh, how many do you want? Two, because I reckon we could put one here. Alright, I can't flip it. I wanted to reverse it, so I had the end of it. Never mind. Do I have any pictures that need to go up here? Arrangement of books, photo of boxing, and a... Okay, right. Photo of boxing... I've got a blank wall here somewhere that I can use this on, right? Oh, why not right above the bed? Alright, we need to make it a little bit smaller though. Um, hmm. What else have we got? A football ball. A fitting dumbbell. Well, what other colour is there? I mean, if I could put pink in there, but I think you might not like it. A single wardrobe door. There we go. In the burnt beach, if we've got it. Alright, the dark will do. I'm not scared of the dark.
Okay. Uh, black on black. Maybe grey on black. A Dracaena Marginata Lamb. Do, do, do. A Sissus Latte by two. It is not a fancy coffee. Well, I think I'll stick one over here. It is a pot plant. I do not know how many times they're going to knock that off before they move it, but they are going to knock it off. And a Chevrier set. What can I say? The guy likes his plants. Uh, maybe, maybe it needs to be over here. Alrighty. An arrangement of books. Well, that can actually go on the bookshelf. How many arrangements of books do we want? Four. Um, I haven't worked out where I want this yet. Okay, what we're going to do is this. Because it would be annoying just to have that right in the corner of the TV. We're just going to move that. Uh, we're going to put that. Because where else would you put your dumbbells and your football but on the bottom shelf of your bookshelf? Alright, now we're going to put our arrangement of books in. A mm, dumbbell. Well, let's have. Oh, maybe not pink. No, otherwise visiting people are going to think that they can actually use it. Alrighty. Oh, I get to have another one. Let's have a blue one. That's going to roll off that shelf onto someone's toes. Dark blue gloves. Uh, what else we got? And a big rectangular carpet. I know, how big can I fit in here? This room is done. Uh, radio. It probably needs a door on it though. Let us put a door on it and then I think we better call it a day because I have this feeling that we're out of time again. So we're going to grab one of these. We're going to grab some burnt beach. We're going to grab some, well, let's leave it clear. And then we're going to grab some black handles, dark handles, no, black handles. Black wood for the frame. No, burnt beach for the frame. That'll do me. Now we've got three of these, I just noticed. So what we'll do is we'll just put them all in. While I remember what color I used. Or while it remembers what colour I used, because this way I do not have to remember right. There was a time when I could put in multiple doors instead of having to reselect it. I am glad it's remembering what I wanted though. There we go. But guys, I think on that note, I'm going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll see you later. Take care out there.